Good afternoon. Welcome to my usual daily chat. <laughs> this is episode number 735. And the topic today is about um, the dating mating experience. And this is called, basically the title of this is, he's playing with you, signs you may want to walk away. And in fact, in some cases, those signs maybe you want to run away. So we're going to break into that in a second. Before I do, let me start with introducing myself so you know why I do this and who I am because you may never see my broadcast before, and then we'll jump into it. So first of all, hi, my name is Barry Selby, in case you hadn't figured that out already. I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which, le- which informs my work and inspires my work, as well as these talks I've done now for over two years, called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Feminine Heart. So today we're at episode 735. Ooh, gonna be fun. And we're talking about the dating mating thing and why some why you as a woman, because this is mostly speaking to the women, and well, it'll be to both. It's gonna be for the women to have watch for the warning signs and for men to know what to clean up so they can have better dating experiences. So everybody wins. <laughs> That's the intention anyway. And this, by the way, is my Facebook Live I do every day. So in case you're wondering why you watch this on YouTube, it's because I watch, put the replays on YouTube afterwards too. If you want to watch me live, I'll give you the information at the back end of where you can join me live on Facebook every day at 5 p.m. So, let's jump in, shall we? Um, dating has changed over the last few years, to be simple about it. Ever since the invention of the smartphone dating app, dating's taken a whole new, whole new flavor, and there's a lot of things in, in that resource that people have been doing some very, um, I'm gonna say simple terms. I'm gonna say people in general, then I'm gonna speak about men and women more specifically, but people have used it as a very easy way to get dates, an easy way to create connection, but it's not real connection. So that's what I'm prefacing it with, and I'm gonna to talk today about how men do things that are stupid, underhanded, irresponsible, ineffective, and where women may wanna choose those options to leave and walk, walk away. I'm thinking I may be doing one tomorrow the other way around, which is where men should walk away from women. We'll see if, that, if I have enough content for that, because these, again, are never, these are never scripted, so I don't have a plan of, I'm gonna do four part X, talk about this but today we're talking about women um it's like ordering pizza <laughs> thank you Della. i like that appreciate that way of putting it it is sometimes that much effort i should say it's that much presence of mind being put into it by men true by women too actually so that's true on both sides about the ordering pizza me- um, analogy or the metaphor so let me speak about this a bit so one of these things with the dating apps yes i know you're talking about that Della. Uh, online dating indeed is I, I put a post, I put a, a picture up earlier today, um, um, a meme which was called um, a tech a tech stationship, not relationship, a tech stationship, where basically he only texts, never talks. So one of the first things that a man can do better is to move from. Let me back up a second. Most dating apps connect you with somebody through the app. There's a match and then you start having the ability to message each other, texting basically through the app versus texting through the phone. So great, you're texting through the app. The sooner you can get off of the app and into either a phone call, preferably a phone call to start with, just so you can get to each other's, each other's voices, and then an in-person meeting, the better. There are so many people I know of, and I did it once myself a couple of, I did I've done it myself a couple of times, so I'm guilty as well where I've perpetuated a text conversation back and forward without going any further than that, which wasn't very effective. I certainly don't get anything out of it, so it wasn't worth it for me. So maybe I'm the only one doing that? I don't think so. The thing I'm gonna speak to basically is the the lack of effort being put in by men in this context. And texting is one of those indicators. The messaging, typing stuff out without actually saying, what's your number, I'll give you a call. Or if you're going through some other device, like if you are texting through a phone, or message it through Facebook, you can call and have a verbal conversation, which is, for a lot of men, a risk. And for women too, but the reality is if you're looking to meet somebody through an app that you want to have a closer, intimate, yes, intimate connection with, a phone conversation, voice to voice, is a step toward that direction which accelerates the process. But a lot of men don't want to do that. They want to text and even text to when they get to meet. I have talked about this before on Facebook Live months ago how I believe texting should be only used for logistical information. What time are you gonna meet? Where are you gonna meet? What's the address? That sort of stuff. It shouldn't, texting is ineffective, I'll say, at communicating emotion, which is why phone calls, voice communication is so much better than that. 
And that's a piece of information you can take in any part of life, not just in the dating arena and the relationship arena. It's like any communication you do by phone is going to be so much more effective and connected and intimate than texting. So put that out of the way. So that's one of the indicators. So what I will speak to again is about the fact that a lot of men who are using dating apps are getting lazy because it's sitting basically at home with a catalog. They're scrolling through the catalog and hitting yes on the ones they like. I mean hitting, like tapping the screen. So ladies, if the man isn't doing anything more than effort-wise to go out with you, are you sure you want to go out with him? Yeah, he may have great looking pictures. Of course, those pictures could be 20 years old or pictures where he's so um, different from what it looks like now that you may be fooled as well. But the thing, the, the thing with this, this dating app situation, because it's the main um, issue I have. Because <laughs> we meet somebody socially, it's a different story. Because basically, you meet somebody socially, I didn't even swap each, each other's numbers, and you can talk right away. But again, even in that context, as I said, having the man call is a priority. A priority because it creates more connection and will step up the, his game to be more effective in communication. Because if he's going to rely on texting only, He's being lazy, one. He's being less intimate, connected, two. And he may not deserve your time. It's kind of three. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to say this in a way that's not going to sound like I'm basically giving women an excuse. However, men should make an effort. I'll say that simply. Men should make an effort to actually step up their efforts and, and exertions to make it worth a woman's while to go out with them. I um, would say, oh, yeah. also it takes a lot of, about the, it says a lot about the character of a man. Absolutely. There are so many men who have forgotten the gentle art of phone calls to go out with somebody, to actually make, to have a social engagement. I've talked about this before in other, other Facebook Lives months ago about the dating etiquette I recommended, about the social engagement like a pre-date first. So in, in the my recommendation of a path to a healthier starting point for a relationship is you start with a connection through other pla whatever platform it happens in. You move that to a phone call as soon as is, as is workable, ideally within the first two or three texts, if not sooner. You then, yes, he's had to be in the hunter. It, you, you got it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, yeah? The next step I recommend is, is, to, is to meet up physically in person. Daytime, relax, maybe coffee, something like that, where it's a daytime public environment where you can meet each other and you don't cross any lines you can actually get to know each other because frankly with those dating apps especially ladies you don't really know what that man's about until you meet him in person because when you meet him in person one you'll know his voice more than you can on a phone call because a phone call is a good start but in person you can hear much more you can see his facial expressions two you'll get a better feeling energetically about who this man is because the thing is it's so easy to get fooled by what you see as a picture and some text than when you meet someone in person so the first time you meet this man is a chance for you to see, does he match what I think he is? Is he what I hope he's going to be? Because the other part of this is a lot of women, unfortunately, in this day and age, have become kind of lonely and or needing, wanting, yearning for a relationship without one, doing the work themselves to prepare the right way. And secondly, to refine their choosing, their, their um, say their picker, <laughs> their, 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 um, guidance system to know when it's a good match or not. So a lot of women are being hurt in relationships they didn't really want to be in because they didn't choose clear enough. So that, that's a whole, that's another conversation which I've done before as well. But the refinement of choosing, the dating app is, is really looking, is looking through a pinhole camera. It's such a small segment of somebody's life. So meeting them in person, physically, talking to them face to face, eye contact, is really where things start. So everything before that is the it's not even an introduction. It's the pre-start. It's the groundwork. Maybe not even that. It's, the, it's simply the place where you go, okay, let's start a conversation in person here. And again, I mentioned physically meeting somebody in person as a pre-date, where the real date is romantic sensitive, because having a meet up for the first time and presuming romance when you've just seen each other in a, a profile picture on a dating app, on a phone that's only this big a screen, is a huge leap of faith. So to take charge of your time, take charge of a connection, take, take charge of your interaction so you can get to know if this is somebody you want to be with is a wise step. Now, I, I did say that that, that Mima put about te uh, textationship, which is basically where a man only texts us nothing else. Here's the thing. If he's not raising the stakes himself, 
stepping his game up by making a making initiation of phone calls, initiating connection, asking to take you out to meet you somewhere to get to connect with you some other way. He doesn't deserve you. Period. I think I made that point clear enough. You got that? Mo- you got my point? As as Della said earlier about being the hunter, it's a key part of that. The masculine energy is one who pursues. Now, I don't mean stalker, by the way. I do not mean stalker. <laughs> Let me qualify that. The hunter means that he does the work to pursue to chase in a way that is respectful, please, and also is offering himself as a worthy um, suitor for your time. Again, this is qualification here, because ladies, if he's not doing the right things to qualify him for your attentions, he doesn't deserve your attention. That's kind of simple, I guess. So being willing to step away, willing to walk away, in some cases willing to run away, may be your best action rather than sticking out the time with somebody who doesn't deserve your efforts, your time, your sex, especially, and your life. I'm making sure I made that right way. Sorry, it came out in one minute. I heard heard it a different way when I said it. Meaning that spending time with your, part of your life with them, that's what I meant, not losing your life. I've got to be careful what I say here. It's getting dangerous. Um, (laughs) So there are indicators. Again, he only texts, he never communicates, he never steps up the game, he never never makes the effort to invite you out, to take you out, to to offer a date. Um, nowadays, because things have changed so much, men and women are much more equal than they used to be. So besides the dating apps and the smartphones and everything else, back in the, what, the 70s? Maybe in the 60s, maybe the 70s, women weren't at that point very often living their own life, having their own apartments, their own house, their own car, their own job, their own money. Any of the stuff that was their own, it was always the parents back then. I talked about that before, about before the sexual revolution, everything changed afterwards, everything, so on and so on. However, the point I make is, when it comes to dating, the arena hasn't changed in some ways, but some men assume it would. So they want to go Dutch. Or they want to pick up, they want to do things where the woman has freedom to choose what she wants. And this is the thing. It's, it's challenging for us as men, just to, just to segue slightly. When a woman has her own car and she says she wants to meet where you want to meet, which is, which is fine, I, I recommend this in fact. Ladies, when you go on to meet a man for the first time, meet him somewhere, again, for public, daytime, cheap place where you can go have coffee, relax, ice cream, whatever it is, because they know each other before you have a date, which is more in dark, secluded environment where he may pick you up because that you've got to know you can trust him for. The challenge with that for now is that for us men, we, we and say this, it's like we are, we are the hunter, technically speaking, being the masculine. However, women, you have, you have your own cars, you have your own money, you have your own freedoms. So we've got to be very clear how we want to be respect, respecting what a woman has, but also taking charge, which is a nuanced thing for a lot of men. Because I think when they take charge, they're demeaning to women, which is not what I'm talking about here. But some men don't get it, I don't have a clue. But the understanding is that when a woman chooses to drive herself to meet you, Appreciate that, respect that, thank her for that. Because it's something that she's doing to take care of herself. And that to me is a wise choice. So when a woman does that, I'm like, yes, that works out fine. If you want me to pick you up, I will. But if you bring drive yourself there, that's really good too. So it's about having respect for the boundaries. So being awake, being aware for men is a good thing for women because the again, the reality is you want a man that's gonna have that integrity, honor, respect, gentlemanly conduct, and all these different things I've talked about before. I'm not going to go into all the other pieces because there's so much I've talked about over the last 734 broadcasts that speak to ways men can be better in a relationship. But this point I want to make is about efforting, about stepping up, about being worthy of your time. The texting is just an indicator. It's just, it's just one symptom. But you know the feeling of that, ladies. You know what I mean by that. So when you meet a man and he's on that energetic level of basically um, minimal input, you know if it's worth pursuing or not. So don't be desperate, be discerning, much more vital. I'm just seeing something else, because I was watching to see if else coming, someone came through as a teaching point, but that makes the point clear, I think. De- discernment versus desperation, very key difference, ladies, you know this. And men too, there's another, it's not like it's that different in some ways. I think that's, that's all I had on this one. Interesting, I thought there was gonna be more. But I'm really clear about the fact it's important that we have raised the bar, raised the quality of relationship, period. That's why I do this work. That's why I do these 700 plus broadcasts is to speak to and teach about love and relationships that will help you have more qualification, more quality, more enjoyment, and more value in your relationships. 
and more love. Um, I think that's everything I want to say this one. What else is there? Well, quick, well before, I can, in case, before anything else comes up, let me just drop quick, quick seeds. Um, I have two more days left of my Pay What You Want private coaching special I'm offering right now. For those who didn't catch my broadcast before, I've been posting that it's my 38th anniversary as of last Saturday of being in LA, actually being in the United States. So I'm offering 38 minutes Pay What You Want private coaching sessions. For those who want them, you can grab one from me. You've got two more days to get them because Saturday's the end of the week and that's when I'm stopping this. Then it goes back to full price again. So if you've been thinking about getting a little coaching, you can get a test drive with me for a single session, 38 minute session, I know it's short, but it's a chance for us to get to know each other and you get to get some help, guidance and support for whatever price you choose, is, what you choose is a value worth investing in. I think that's it. That's it on that piece. So quick reminders, this is my daily Facebook Live. I do it at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. Replays go to my business page, which is barryselby.author, and then onto my business onto my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe. And there's a playlist, playlist on there called Messages from the Mask Men. So if you want to see me live, come to my personal page, again, facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby at 5 p.m. Pacific time um, every day, seven days a week. So you can catch me doing something live, interact, ask questions, be involved, et cetera, et cetera. If you do have any questions, thoughts you want to ask or put into the conversation after I sign off, I'll respond once I do sign off and I'll type back to you then. So feel free to continue um, mentioning things in the replay. And uh, if you want help, that, that offer, by the way, you can message me over social media or I'll put a link in the comments for a contact form so you can message me that way as well. So I think that's it. Let's raise hit the simple thing. Let's raise the standards and quality of relationships. We deserve it. All of us do, men and women. It's time we have much more higher quality, much more respect, and much more dignity in our relationships. So again, if you're stuck in this area, I'm offering my special pay what you want single session right now. You can grab a session with me as my gift. Well, you gotta pay for it, but it's your choice of how much you wanna pay. And uh, take care of yourselves in choosing. Don't be rushing into every single choice you get. Be willing to say no, be willing to have your distance and take care of yourself. And that I think is my message today. It's always about taking care of yourself. This is another reason, another teaching how you can do that more effectively. So with that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.